Welcome to part 2 of Shoe Livery Trades. If you haven't watched the first part, click on the i button to watch it now. We started our descent to reach the start point of the trail. I find riding downhill a bit more challenging than riding uphill because even when I do not want it, there is 9.8 meters per second square of acceleration I have to deal with. Riding uphill is all about keeping the momentum whereas riding downhill is all about arresting that momentum. Of course, I am citing general scenarios and it isn't a thumb rule. There are situations when riding uphill can get very challenging too. What do you find more challenging, uphill or downhill? Let me know in the comments below. We reached the start point of the trail. This is a technical trail. You may be wondering what a technical trail is. As the name suggests, it is not just twist the throttle and ride. One has to negotiate different obstacles. In this trail, we had to mostly negotiate rocks and bushes. In some places, the rocks were slippery and in most places, the bushes were a bunch of thorns. I'm so glad I had good quality riding gears on, which took the brunt of the thorns. In some cases, I had to use the torque of the motorcycle to break free from the hold of the thorns and bushes. Your riding technique plays an important role on these kind of trails. The progress is slow on technical trails. The difficulty level is also high. If you are a beginner rider, do not go for technical trails straight away. You need to learn some off-road techniques before you jump to technical trails. And riding with big adventure motorcycles on technical trails is going to be very difficult. We had to make tight turns in some spots and we had to get it right in one attempt as there was no space to reverse the bike to try the turn again. One thing is certain, a lighter motorcycle pays huge dividends on technical trails. Learning to ride off-road has made me a better tarmac rider. What is the correlation you ask? Imagine this. Let's say you ride only tarmac and are used to the general grip levels on tarmac. You lose perspective. As soon as you start riding off-road, sooner or later, a situation arises which demands you to exploit the grip levels on a loose surface. And when you make it through that section is when you get a perspective of how much more grip is available for you to use on the tarmac. There are many such examples I can think of, but I would like to hear from those who have been in a similar situation. Comment below how train riding resulted in you being a better tarmac rider. And here is how KTM played a part in me getting acquainted with Jasim and Sahir. 
The fantastic thing about owning a KTM is the pro XP trainings and experiences conducted by KTM. I met these two gentlemen in pro XP bronze certification. Bronze, silver and orange are off-road trainings and certifications from KTM for the 390 and 250 ADV riders. If you own any of these, I urge you to go for these trainings. This is a way to level up and improve your riding skills. You may not have plans to ride off-road, but as I previously mentioned, off-road skills will help you on road too. And the bonus is, you meet like-minded people and make new friends. Pro XP is not just limited to trainings, they have ride experiences too, like the upcoming one to Ladakh. This was a short trail filled with so much adventure. Sahir had the entire route map. Else, getting lost in a place like this is very easy. My advice to trail riders, never ride trails alone. My next video will show you exactly what happens when things go wrong. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, now is the time. Thanks for watching and listening.